you were sitting on the bed in your bedroom and your eyes were fixed on the laptop screen it's been 4 hours since you are sitting like this in front of your laptop actually you were searching about personality disorder you really wanted to help jungkook to come out from this disorder and live his life as a normal person there was so much to know how a person loses his control over his thoughts and behavior sometimes even they don't know what they are doing there are so many medical ways in therapy through which it can be cured you were just thinking how you will going to convince him to visit a therapist you were just fighting with your thoughts when suddenly the door opened and jungkook came inside when you looked at him he was looking so tense and a little angry he opened the closet and start searching for something do you need help with something you asked in a soft voice meanwhile he didn't respond it you closed the laptop and walked near him If you want something then tell me I'll find it for you Can't you just shut your mouth for some time He yelled annoyingly but as soon as he saw you terrified face his eyes immediately softened I- I'm sorry I didn't mean to yell at you I'm a bit tensed It's okay if you tell me what you are looking for then maybe I can help He said very calmly trying to make him feel better. He exhaled lightly and sat on the bed. It's okay. It's not something you should know about. Those are only my problems and I am the one who should face them. The way he said those words, you felt pain in them. You don't know what he is th- talking about, but looks like he never shared his pain with anyone. All this time Living in this house you never saw his family none of his parents came to visit you you only have seen his cousins and friends you slowly walked near him and sat beside him i don't know anything about your past and i'm not really trying to be nosy but i'm your wife now sharing your problems and being by your side in every good and bad is now my right If you're going through any hardship then share with me too isn't it why god made life partners so that you won't be walking alone in the path he was looking at you like he found a mirage in a desert his whole life he only walked alone he never got to be loved by anyone do you really think i deserve to be loved his eyes were soft and painful Every human in this world is meant to be loved. You are not different. He suddenly hugged you. You never stop him from hugging you because you've noticed that whenever he hugs you, you he feels better. You will stay with me till my last breath, right? I've got no choice. You heard him chuckling which made you smile. Why did you take me here? He was looking annoyed as you requested him to come to hospital with you. Why do you get annoyed easily? We are here to see a therapist. He stopped in his way and looked at you. Did you ask me before doing all this? How can you decide all this by your own? You grabbed his hand and spoke softly. Why are you getting angry? It's just a matter of visiting a therapist. I'm not angry, Vaya, but you should have at least asked me. Okay, I promise I won't do that again. But can we go now? He nodded. I know I may sound silly, but Vaya, you know what I like being a psychotherapist. I get to help people to come out from their trauma. This work is not easy, but I try my best. I believe in healing with love and support. After checking on Jungkook, I realized that there is no better therapist for him than you. What are you saying, sir? No, believe me, you can be the best therapist for him. I have analyzed that he's like this because of some past traumas and he has been longing for love. If you support him, believe me, he won't need any therapy.
But sir, it's not easy. He really needs professional help. Don't worry, I'll give you my support as well. But you would do it better than anyone else. Just love him. Show him that how beautiful it can be to be loved with someone. Try to know him. Make him feel like there is someone for him to whom he can share his thoughts. Can open up with all insecurities. Try to calm him. I know you can do it. You looked out from the glass door and saw Jungkook who was waiting for you outside. You again looked at Mr. James. I don't know if I would be able to do it or not, but I will try my best. He smiled and nodded. You will. You can do it. Fighting. This place is nice. I know, right? I have came here a few times. I really love this place. Did you love someone else before? His sudden question left you surprised. It's the first time he ever asks you about your past. Why you are asking? You said in a hardly audible tone. Just I don't know. But do you had any boyfriend or someone you love? He was looking at you like he will get hurt if you say yes. I was never be that beautiful to be loved by someone. To be honest, no guy really paid attention to me. I was called a nerd. You said in a bit sad tone while he nodded and took a sip of his drink. So you've never been in love? Not really, but it doesn't mean I didn't like anyone. There was a very handsome guy whom I had a huge crush, but he ended up dating my sister. Not every handsome guy you see is gentleman, you know. Maybe you are lucky to not fall for him. How can you say that? Don't forget to you to drool over my sister. Just because she didn't wanted to marry you, I ended up here. Because I didn't knew that they also have a beautiful daughter like you. He left you in confusion. What do you mean? After seeing you, I told your father that I want to marry you and not your sister. You were processing every word which was coming out from his mouth. So it wasn't my parents, but you. He nodded. Can I ask you something? Hmm? Why did you force my dad to give his daughter to you? He looked up at you from some time, and then exit slowly. I didn't force him. He was keep just keeping his promise. Promise to my dad even know you. Ask him whenever you get a chance to visit him. Now I really don't want any conversation on this topic. You didn't force him to talk about it, but now this thing got stuck up in your head. What was all that? What are you doing? He said entering inside the kitchen and straight went to fridge to get a bottle of water. I am hungry so I thought of cooking something. Do you also want something? He closed the fridge and walked near you. He saw you struggling while chopping the onion. A chuckle left from his mouth. You know how to cook? He stopped in middle and looked at him pouting. To be honest, absolutely not. Now Regretting for not listening to my mom, he laughed a little and took the knife from your hand. You don't have to regret for not knowing how to cook. I'm here and I can cook for you any time. His words melted your heart like butter. You would have, wouldn't have said those bad words about him if you knew him before marriage. Don't know what made you like this, but he's the sweetest guy you have ever seen. Now you really appreciate yourself for giving him a chance because you never knew he's such a pure soul if you love him. Thank you, and I will learn how to cook so that I can also cook for you delicious meals. You know I love to eat, and I will love to eat the delicious meal cooked by you. I want to see my daughter. Don't know how she's living, my poor girl. I swear I won't be able to live if something happened to my daughter. Don't worry, she will be fine. Your mom was sobbing as she always cursed herself for handing her daughter to a psycho. 
how can you even say that everything will be fine it all happened because of you if it wasn't you she might be living with someone she could love and she burst in tears i know i am such a bad father i can't be forgiven for what i did to my own daughter aren't you sleepy you asked him as you both were lying down next to each other looking into each other's eyes he was caressing your cheeks whoever told you that you are unattractive and not beautiful i want to thank them all just because of them i get to keep this beauty by all by myself you're so beautiful vian beautiful than heaven you can't help but to get red because of shyness his soft and deep calm voice is like heaven to ears you were falling for him every day his behavior has changed a lot now he always stay cautious about how he behave around you and seeing him smiling often makes your day even more better you are not any less handsome in fact i'm jealous that you'd been with so many girls before me and it's obvious it's like he was not even listening to you his eyes were just fixed on you while he was lost in his thoughts i wish i could meet you a bit early my life would have been a lot better his words were trembling it's never too late to start a better life i know It was hard for him to speak anything and you felt that he was on a verge of crying. You don't know what happened to him. Your heart ached when you saw a tear coming out from his eyes. "Hey, why are you crying?" You quickly hugged him while he wrapped his arms around your waist tightly and buried his face in your chest. "Life has never been this beautiful until you came in." How can I thank you? Just know that I'm so grateful to have you. I love you, Ryan. I don't want to see this world without you. You deserve it, Junko. You placed a soft kiss on his forehead and patted his head. Who told you to touch my things, huh? Why you have to be nosy in everything? I just found it while cleaning. I didn't mean to check on your things. Why are you making a big deal out of it? Stop this shit. Stop pretending all innocent and nice every time. If you found it accidentally, then why did you check everything? I was just curious. I pro- curious my food. Who gave you the right to look into my stuff? His words were really harsh now. You tried your best to calm him. You even apologized to him so many times, but he didn't listen to you. His anger is on high level and he was looking dangerous as hell. You were trying your best to hold yourself from breaking down, but his words in anger was not at all helping. He was shouting at you. What's the big deal if I check that? I'm your wife. I have my rights to know about you. to know why you are like this i'm trying you every possible way to cure you can't you just cooperate a little i don't need anyone's help get out of here just get out of the house this time his words pierced through your heart you watched him going upstairs angrily tears started to fall from your eyes you were worse junko you whispered and went upstairs in your room The doorbell rang and your mom opened it. Her face dropped as soon as she saw you. Why in? You quickly hugged her and started crying. She caressed your back. What happened, Why in? Tell me, please. You didn't say anything and was just crying continuously. She broke the hug and made you look at her. Come inside. You came inside and sat on the couch while she bought you a glass of water. She sat beside you and held your hand. I'm sorry my daughter. I know I'm the worst mother a child could ever have. I handled my own daughter in wrong hands, but believe me, I was forced to. But now I will stand for you. Don't you don't have to go back to him now. Why in? You both lifted your heads and saw your dad coming. He had surprised expression on his face. He quickly came to you. Are you okay, my child? The second those words left from his mouth, you burst into tears. He hugged you and patted your back. Why? 
Why did you do that, Dad? I'm sorry, my child. I'm sorry. I will talk to him. Did he hurt you somewhere? You shook your head. I don't want to to go back there. Do as you wish. I won't force you this time. He wiped your tears. We'll talk later. Go and rest in your room, okay? You nodded and went to your room. You sure you don't want to go back to Junko? You turned around and saw your sister coming inside. What are you doing here, Unni? She came and sat beside you on the bed. I can clearly see that you love him, Bayan. Did something happen between you two? I don't want to talk about it, Unni. You tried to cover yourself with blanket, but she grabbed it. Talk to me, Bayan. What happened? Do you really want to end this marriage? You couldn't control yourself anymore. You hugged her and started crying. I love him so much, Unni. I didn't knew that I would fall for him, but now I really love him. I can't live without him. I'm trying to cure him, but looks like he will never fall for me the way I fell. She broke the hug and covered your face. I'm so proud of you, my sister. I know how hard it might be for you to accept him, but still you did. You made him a really nice person. No, Oni, I failed to make him a normal person. He still don't want me to know about him. Overcoming past traumas are not easy, Vian. He's trying. Give him some time. He needs you, and believe me, he also loves you the way you do. Didn't he already told you that? You closed your eyes and let your tears fall. I'm telling you that he was also feeling sorry for what he did, and he will come to get you and be gentle to him. Okay? You've already showed that you can change him into a better person. So don't give up. Why did you come here? What you want from us now? Where is Vian? Forget about her. She's no one to you. Go away from her life and let her live peacefully. She was so angry, but so did Junko. He don't want to argue with anyone at this point of time. I'm asking for my wife. Where is Vian? How shameless you are, huh? Even after breaking her heart. You dare to come back to her? Let him in. What are you saying? Do you really have to ruin your daughter's life? Jungkook didn't listen to her and came inside. He went towards your room. Your mom tried to stop him, but your dad held her. Let him see his wife, Jagi. You should know that our daughter is not happy to be here. She love him. Let them solve their matter by themselves.